This educational video is intended to help children build their vocabulary for the purpose of their general knowledge, as well as to improve their scores on state and other standardized exams. Please pause the video to read the purpose, scope, and warnings related to this video. This video has a free student engagement worksheet that can also be used as a quiz. It's available in many formats. Please see the link in the description to download this. In this video, we'll learn the definition of these words. We'll do that by focusing on the meaning of the word parts, which make up each word. The word root bio means life. The word biography is made of two parts. The second is graph, which means to write or draw. A biography is a book about someone's life, which is written by an author, who is not the subject of the biography. For example, in each of these books, the person who the book is about is different than the person who wrote the book. These books are nonfiction which means their content is true. Some may be short and simple, but all are biographies. The word autobiography has three word parts. The first is the word part auto, which means self. An autobiography is also about someone's life story, but the author is the person who the book is about. For example, Benjamin Franklin wrote this book about it his own life. This is an autobiography. The word biology is made of two word parts. The second is low G, which means the study of. Biology is the scientific subject that includes the study of all living things on Earth. That means everything from the tiniest bacteria to the biggest tree. It includes all plants, like grass, bushes, and trees. Biology includes the study of all animals, from small insects to large pets. Plus, biology includes the study of people, since we are animals too. Biology also includes the study of life forms that are neither plants or animals but seem to have features common to both plants and animals. For instance, these tiny euglena can do things that plants and animals can do. The term marine biologist starts with the word part mar, which means the sea. It ends with the word part ist, which means specialist. A marine biologist studies life forms in the sea. Marine biologists may do research on animals, such as fish, dolphins, and corals. Or a marine biologist may study organisms that are similar to plants, such as kelp. Marine biology is just one of many specialties within biology. It happens to be fairly popular in K-12 through education. The word microbiology is made of three word parts. The first is micro, which means small. Microbiology is another specialty within the broader field of biology. Microbiology is the study of small life forms. Individually, these organisms are too small for us to see with our unaided eyes so we use microscopes and other instruments to see them. They include bacteria, viruses, some fungi, and small parasites. Microbiology is very important in healthcare because many of these organisms can make us sick with an infection. Microbiologists study how these organisms can cause infections and help find ways for us to kill them when we're ill with an infection. The word biosphere is made of two word parts. The second is sphere, which means ball. The biosphere is one of the five major collections on Earth that Earth scientists have defined. You may have heard of some of the other collections defined by Earth scientists, which together are called Earth systems. These other collections include the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, the geosphere, and the magnetosphere. Each of these cover the entire Earth, so we consider them ball-shaped and call them a sphere. The biosphere is the term we use to include all forms of life on Earth, regardless of the type and place where it exists. That means all animals, plants, bacteria, viruses, and other life forms. Thanks for your attention.